Bay Area. Bay Area. Bay Area. So there's a lot of programs that try to, um, you know, export that culture um, to kind of as a driving, um, as a driver for, for innovation. It hasn't really affected at all, and, and, I'll, and I'll respond. I, I, I spend a lot of time in the Bay Area. I invest I had a lot of investments in the Bay Area. Two of my partners came from the Bay Area. One of them was a co-founder of the site and lived there for 17 years. The other one lived there for a dozen years. Um, I co-founded a venture capital firm from Foundry Group called Lundy's Venture Capital. It was based in the Bay Area. Even though I was in Boulder, I had to spend a lot of time in the Bay Area. I actually don't think the Bay Area is something that other entrepreneurial communities should pay much attention to at all. For starters, it shouldn't aspire to be like it. It's just a different thing. Um, and if you look at other entrepreneurial cultures, I mean, the Bay Area is now you know, going on 60 years of real entrepreneurial activity that you're building on top of. It's got this incredible um, uh, dynamic around it, some of which is great, and some of which is terrible. And a lot of people that are in the Bay Area love it, and a lot of people that are in the Bay Area hate it. And so it's one of those things where if you're looking at your community, your entrepreneurial dynamic, the Bay Area is a thing that's very powerful, and it's going to impact anybody that's in the software, uh, internet, or frankly, hardware technology business. But to try to emulate the Bay Area in Boulder, or San Diego, or Seattle is dumb. What you should focus on instead is what are your natural resources? What are the things that make this community great? And I think our premise, I lived in Boston for 12 years before moving to Boulder. I've lived in Boulder for 15 years now. I grew up in Dallas, Texas. I spent a lot of time in all these, these different places because we have investments all over the country. I think that there's probably 100 cities in the United States that could have robust, sustainable entrepreneurial communities. But they have to have longer term views than until the next economic cycle. And the ones that have developed that are ones that do have a longer view now. It's interesting, some of the ones that you heard about a decade ago that are struggling are ones that didn't. Austin, Texas, Raleigh, Durham, right? Research Triangle Park. I mean, these are places where people talked about it as great entrepreneurial communities that are fine, they've got stuff in them, but they're not healthy and robust and sort of operating in a way that leverages themselves. The last thing I'd say on that specific topic is in the late 90s, Every community that was a software tech internet community was trying to be Silicon Block, right? I don't know what San Diego was, it's like Silicon Beach or something. Right? Beach. Did I get it? Yeah. Right. Give me a city, I'll give you what it was called. Silicon, right? Silicon dipshit. I mean, it was, it's just, it's, it's the wrong model, it's the wrong mental model. Like, you've got different stuff, people are here for a different reason. If you want to be in the Bay Area, go to the Bay Area. <laughs> Right? And, and I think, you know, you laugh, I mean, people respond the same kind of way. You get it, right? I don't want to be there. I want to be here. So I think that's important. Now, the, the one thing I will tell you is that the entrepreneurial characteristics that you see, not just in the Bay Area, but among fast-moving tech companies, um, tend to be scalable across geography. And so there are a lot of leading lessons, leading indicators that you can get from the Bay Area just because it's, it's so vibrant and so active. But there's a lot of dangers in that too. One of the phenomena in the Bay Area is the endless niche economy. Right? There's 97 things that look like the thing that was on the front of TechCrunch yesterday. And the problem is, is that if you get sort of sucked into that, it, it starts to compress some of the creativity. And I see lots of other communities, and we've seen this on this trip, where all of the, pre the presentations today were, I think, all three of them are unique. We, we do a Pitch Me Faster session uh, before that. I see a couple of people that were there. Five minute presentations, by the way, people suck at five minute presentations, so it's good practice for them. Hopefully they get some useful feedback from us. Um, but we, we've been to a couple of other ones where literally every presentation, you know, I could have listed 10 other companies doing exactly what they were doing. I don't think we had any of those Which was good, right? I view that as a positive. So that, that's a rambling The version. takeaway is, you know, you have to be the best San Diego to be, right? And so what are you?